Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you like what I'm doing here. And right now, I'm gonna be talking about the new Miss Marvel that was cast. I just saw it trending on Twitter and I clicked on the article and I saw that she's Canadian apparently. So let's, let's check her out. Let's see what she's all about. Okay, so I have the article pulled up. It says, another Canadian is joining the MCU. Iman Vellani is Ms. Marvel. Well, I guess that's her. Oh, that's cool. Um, she's cute, I guess. She's very young. Um, I guess that they're, they're wanting a really young Miss Marvel. Um, the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe just got a fresh new face and she's from Markham, Ontario. Yay, Canada! Deadline announced that Iman Vellani has joined the MCU in its latest project, Miss Marvel. Vellani will play the titular character in the TV series, which will air on Disney+. Vellani also shared the exciting news on what appears to be a brand new Instagram Wednesday. Speechless and excited, wish me luck, the 18-year-old captioned the post. Wow, she's really young. She's 18. Uh, she looks younger than that, but I mean, I guess that's what 18 year olds look like these days. The Miss Marvel TV series has been much anticipated one and then the deadline report reiterates that the search for the perfect lead was long and hard. Ooh, well, first of all, that's what she said. Um, and second of all, it's been it's been much anticipated, this Miss Marvel series. Really? Uh, I don't think it has. I mean, I, I didn't even I didn't even know about it until today. It's no wonder, considering the gravity of the role, Miss Marvel, aka Kamala Khan, is a Pakistani American teen, and when she was introduced in the comics in 2014, she became the first Muslim character to lead her own Marvel comic. When she makes her Disney Plus debut, show also become the MCU's first on-screen Muslim su superhero. So. This is this is what I have a problem with. It's just it's annoying to me that they always want to focus on like what the racial uh you know background of the character is or like what their skin color is or what their religious preferences is. It's, it's like who cares? Why is this a kick-ass superhero? Why does she deserve to have the role? Is she a good actress? What you know, is she good at what she's doing? This new gig is pretty big first for Iman too, it's the actress's first Hollywood production. Okay, so it's the first time she's actually going to be acting. Uh, she joins other Canadian stars fronting, uh, fronting Marvel projects, including Simu Liu, uh, Shang-Chi, and The Legend of the Ten Rings, who will portray Marvel's first major Asian superhero, and Tatiana Maslany, who was just who was announced this month as the lead for the upcoming Disney She-Hulk series. I actually really like her, Tatiana Maslany. Uh, I think she's great. I've watched Orphan Black and Orphan Black was amazing. I don't know if like, like I think she'll be great as She-Hulk. It's just gonna depend on whether the writing is good and the series is gonna be good because I think she's a great actress. So I, she'll be able to pull off the part, any part really, no problem. But back to Ms. Marvel. Miss Marvel may also appear in future Marvel blockbusters in addition to the TV series if previous suggestions by Marvel Studios had Kevin Feige are to be believed. Balani may be new to Hollywood scene, but she first stuck her toe in the festival circuit at last year's Toronto International Film Festival where she offered her expertise to the TIFF Next Wave Committee as one of the 12 teens tasked with selecting films relevant to a younger, more progressive audience. Ooh, progressive. It's a key word right there. So basically, I mean, she may not necessarily be a good actress, but she's probably super woke and progressive, and that's probably why she got the job. That doesn't bode well for Miss Marvel. Balani chose Minha Minhal Beggs ha Hala, as her pick, the story of, a, of an American Muslim teen trying to balance the pulls between her two often conflicting cultures. I haven't seen it, but it sounds like an interesting movie, actually. Um, we want stories from different genders and different countries and different people, Falani said at the time. I think it's really important film to see when you want to take a look at a young member of society who's just trying to fit into the best of both worlds. 
sounds exactly like what they're looking for. Super woke. Um, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how she acts and what she's like. I mean, that's what I want to know when someone is cast for something. I want to know why they got the part, not because of the color of their skin, but like give us an audition tape or something like show us why this person was chosen to from among probably hundreds of other girls to be miss marvel um is this like a diversity hire thing or are they just you know was she actually good i mean we'll never know i guess uh i'm not really sure anyways that's my thought on the new captain marvel situation is she like a diversity hire are you guys also as frustrated as i am with, with all this like you know, what's the person's race, gender, whatever, like, it doesn't matter what they act like, like, that's what's important is their nationality and where they're from and all this stuff. Uh, because I, I just, I can't stand it anymore. But that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And don't forget to press like and subscribe to the channel so you can come back and see me on my channel. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.